Okay, guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a gun, a laser gun. To shoot the laser gun, you just grapple. And it's pretty awesome. And we're going to make a gun, something like this. Looks the exact same, but it doesn't have any sound when it shoots. Okay, what we're going to do right now is make a gun. So we're going to get a block, scale it. Put it like right here and make our gun model uh something like this and then we're gonna make it black because guns are black so next you want to select your gun and make it grabbable and you want to group your gun so yeah you got your grouped gun right here now next you want to add a laser so i'm gonna go right here make my laser out of lava and i'm gonna make my laser something like this you guys can make it longer if you want to um yeah you guys really decide so you want to add a pivot point to do that you want to hold onto the laser or something like this and then you want to copy it like press this button and you want to select it and group it and set pivot click the set pivot button and your pivot point will be in the middle of the map for me it's right here i'm gonna move my pivot right over right over here in the middle you can see where it is right here all right, now I'm gonna let go, and the pivot point will be right here. If you did it right, you see these arrows right here. Um, so after you've done your laser and set the pivot point right over here, you want to add a code block. Let's get your code block right over here, and go to selection and edit the connections. Click it. You wanna select the laser, connect it, and then I'm click the edit button, rename it to beam. You don't have to, you can choose your own name. And then allow all of these buttons, just toggle all of them, and it should look something like this. What you wanna do now is select the gun, go inside the group by clicking your joystick forwards, or don't, like if you click it, you'll see it highlighted. And that's how you go inside a group like this click and then connect and we're gonna call this gun and we're gonna allow position x y just toggle all of them so yeah go back edit the program right here you want to add a label and you want to click the set block six times so uh our source is going to be the gun so you want to do gun x position gun y position gun z position gun rotation yeah, x position just something like this and you'll have something like this now you will do the same thing for the beam so beam x position y position z position x rotation Oh, I got it wrong. Alright. Let me fix it. There we go. There you go. It should look something like this. Now, what you're going to add is a um, go to and drag it at the end right here. And we're going to test where it's going to track. So, we're going to uh, toggle start active. And as you guys can see, it goes the wrong way. To to fix this, we're gonna go inside the group and we're gonna rotate this 180 degrees. Uh, it kind of depends on your uh, on your situation and how to meet on how you want to rotate it. Now, after that test, if done correctly, go right here and we want to edit the program, right? So now we've tested where the laser is gonna point and track. We want to remove the go to and we want to add. A sleep and I'll show I'll explain later why and you want to add 
the ad block and you want to put this destination as the beam position Y and you want to yeah, put this as Y beam position Y and you want to add constant click constant so you can put your own uh, custom value and we're going to make it a thousand so the laser just disappears after shooting like it's going to be all the way up there in the air a thousand meters high we're going to make the laser when you shoot stay for 200 milliseconds that's just my preference and right after you've done that you'll see the laser disappear after you exit the code block uh, we haven't added a trigger yet to shoot so we're going to add it right now so what we're going to do is um yeah just add a um, trigger block let me get surround like that we're gonna make it so select the trigger block go to selection and make it get triggered by a grapple instead of hand and connect the trigger block to the code lock and yeah it's gonna restart the code lock so every time you grapple the gun you can see it shoots the laser now for the moment of truth we're going to select the trigger and the gun and we're going to group it and we're going to enable physics and that should be it the working laser gun awesome so after you've made your gun you probably want it to be way cooler or uh, like this doesn't even have any sounds like it's not that cool uh the laser the range is pretty short so you probably want to change the size of it so yeah that's kind of the gun yeah it kind of tweaks out but if you guys wanted to add sound just i'm just gonna show okay 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 if you wanted to add sounds to it you just want to ungroup it and then just add a sound block of course Okay, that's a good enough sound. Okay, you want to add a sound block. It's a pretty good explosion sound. And we're going to make it like right over here. And right there, we're going to connect the code block. Oh my gosh, that, that's the trigger block. We're going to connect the trigger block to the sound block. So every time you shoot, it makes a sound. Just like put your trigger right over here. Uh, select everything. And then group it and then enable physics. You got sounds. Uh, yep. That's the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, on how to make guns.